welcome back to my channel. I talk about all things bookish here on the internet. And today, I just like want to hang out <laughs> and, and like do bookish things. I don't know what to call this video or the start of this series because I literally just have things to do. I have book unboxings to do. I need to reorganize my bookshelf and I want to do that with you. I need to go book shopping online and send some gifts to my sister for her birthday. I need to like, just, I don't know, we're just gonna do things. We're just gonna hang out, go get a coffee, chat, do bookish things. So I guess it's like, I guess it's like a, like a weekly book vlog, but we're not reading. We're just living our best bookish life. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm having a soda today. It's, it's not really aesthetic. Usually it's an iced coffee, but I just, I needed like just straight sugar and caffeine today. So that's what we're going with. Okay, I have two things to unbox right now. But first, let me show you the latest book to come to my collection. I did an unboxing of this on TikTok and that would be Glow by Raven Kennedy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot wait to finish this book. I am 259 pages in. It's fabulous. Raven Kennedy has improved in her writing so much. Like from book one, like that writing was, it wasn't the best. It was not the best. The story was amazing and I ate it up and I gave it five stars, but like she's just improved so much and I am loving this book. She's thick. This is the Waterstones exclusive edition and she has yellow sprayed edges, which is not the vibe. It should be gold because you know, guild but as we are so i'm really excited to finish this i have not finished it yet because i've been binging the four horsemen series by laura thalassa oh my god i we just need to stop everything real fast this series has become one of my all-time favorite series i've ever read i have read the first three out of the four books in four days like i literally am reading 400 to 500 pages a day I've never done that before, ever. Even with Akatar, like I've never just read 400 pages a day and then did the same thing the next day and then did the same thing the next day, like in the same series, in the same world. <sighs> it's so good, but I will finish this. <laughs> I've just been on this horseman kick, so anyway. So this is added to my collection. She can sit right there for now. All right, let's unbox this from Waterstones. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This should be an exclusive paperback that just came out. Yes. Oh, so pretty. This is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, the UK exclusive paperback edition. She's gorgeous. She has these like light teal edges and I just wanna show you, compare it to the original hardback would be this. So they just kind of changed up the season. This looks very spring and then this looks very winter. The colors are just slightly different. Um, I believe Fairy Loot did this cover as a hardback. I just like having exclusive paperbacks of the books I love because they're slightly different. It's just fun and it's just something that is really commonplace at Waterstones in the UK and I don't always see that like with Barnes & Noble. So she's cute. I love her. If you don't know what this book is about, I have talked about it in so many other of my videos. I'll link one of those up above, but definitely check this out. Okay, so we can add her to the collection. This can go away. Have a sip of my soda. Okay, let's unbox the August Fairyloot YA book box subscription service. That's always such a long title for me to say. This is for August. I am not a representative for Fairyloot. I am not sponsored. This is just me. I purchased this with my own money and I'm just gonna review it for you. So I was a subscriber of Fairyloot two years ago for a few months and then I canceled my service because I just wasn't really happy with the products that I was getting or the books and whatever. And then I had big FOMO and their quality just like went up exponentially during that time when I wasn't a subscriber. I rejoined and I'm so happy I did because the books are beautiful. They get really popular books now and they just give the most beautiful editions. I love all their special editions. I'm basically a simp for Fairy Loot. So we have the August book. Now I have opened this box. <laughs> I already know what's inside and I'm really, really, really excited about it. I think you're going to like this. I think you are going to like this because I know I did. So this is the like spoiler card, which is cute. 
and the theme of the month is tell me lies. First thing up is this notepad from these violent delights and it's just a little checklist which is perfect because i like do checklists all the time in my planner and when i'm doing youtube videos and it just says these violent delights have violent ends so just something really simple but useful that's the thing with these book boxes i want the items to be useful i don't want just a bunch of like knickknacks and trinkets because i won't use them and they'll just collect dust so then we have a pin from melissa myers gilded now i have not read gilded that's another king midas retelling i believe which is why i this baby adult definitely adult so little pin um i collect disney pins i don't necessarily collect book pin so i might give this away then we have two more bookmarks in the greek mythology series i have two others it's not my favorite art i'll be honest they're cute but and i'll and i'll use them but they're not it's not something i would have chosen to purchase if i saw it online that makes sense and these are supposed to depict anasi and a pet i don't know who they are this one looks egyptian though so maybe it's just a mythology series. I don't know if it's exactly Greek. <laughs> I'm gonna look up who these people are. <laughs> okay, anyway. Then we have something that I actually was just complaining about to my husband that I didn't have, and it's a nice traveling jewelry box. Perfect. I just went to Florida and I didn't have anything for my jewelry and I just stuck it in a Ziploc baggie. Like, you should not be putting your pearl earrings in a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> Please don't do that. I did that and it was a horrible choice. Um, but this is just like, has a pretty celestial design on it. So useful. And then we have tarot cards, which I love. I always love the artwork on the tarot cards. And I actually don't know who these characters are. I've not read this book. Okay, these feature Joan as Justice and Nick and Aaron as the Wheel of Fortune. These characters are from Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. I have seen this book. I'll pop it up on the screen. I have not read it. Looks like a good book to read around the October spooky season time. So then we have my favorite bookish item. This is a fantastic, fantastic item. I love it. First of all, I use tote bags every day when I go shopping. I use it as a purse. Like I'll just throw all my stuff in a tote bag. I am excited for this tote bag. Fairy Loot has made a bookish bookshelf library tote bag and on each spine is an actual book so for instance this top row says these violent delights once upon a broken heart an ember in the ashes a torch against the night a reaper at the gates sky beyond the storm from blood and ash like every single book is a different popular book or series and i've read so many of them it's the same on both sides i just think it's it's so good oh there's sorcery of thorns down there daughter of the moon goddess that wasn't my favorite book but spin the dawn unravel the dust kingdom of the wicked carval it's so cute jade fire gold six crimson cranes the city of brass i love it red rising so cute so i will definitely be using this when i go book shopping in london so now it's time for the book and you guys this is a good one okay so this book is one that i have not read i don't own it yet you might if you are in with the trendy books i'm excited about this one okay here we go so the artwork is this and there's a really good author letter that I will read you in just a second. And then our book of the month is... Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. It says, there's always a price for a defying destiny. I think this is a beautiful cover. It continues on to the back. The edges are ombre so pretty oh the bottom has this like bright orange orangey red and then purple dark purple at the top there's a purple ribbon bookmark in this and then if we open it up this is a bit odd but it's a book plate that i can stick in of the author's signature there's inside cover art and then i love this hardback it's one of those plasticky ones and it has this gorgeous like cityscape at dusk so beautiful and then i'll show you very quickly the back inside art i love it i love it and let me just tell you i really like what the author says at the top of her bio it says gina chen spent most of her life thinking she hated writing until she churned out a few hundred thousand words of fan fiction and decided that maybe she was a writer 
I mean, I feel like so many authors can relate to that. And I've thought about writing fan fiction, but I haven't done it yet. But maybe I will one day. So let me read you the synopsis of this book because it sounds fabulous. Violet is a prophet and a liar, influencing the royal court with her cleverly phrased, but not always true, divinations. Honesty is for suckers like the oh so not charming Prince Cypress who plans to strip Violet of her official role once he's crowned at the end of the summer, unless Violet does something about it. But when the king asks her to falsely prophesy... Prophecy? But when the king asks her to falsely prophesy... I feel like it should be prophesize. But is this prophecy? Prophecy Cypress's love story for an upcoming ball, Violet awakens a dreaded curse, one that will end in either damnation or salvation for the kingdom all depending on the prince's choice of future bride. Ooh, so this might be like an arranged marriage trope, which I love. Violet faces her own choice, seize control of her destiny no matter the cost, or give in to the ill-fated attraction growing between her and Cypress. Enemies to lovers? Love it. Violet's wits may protect her in the cutthroat court, but they can't change her fate. And as the boundary between hatred and love grows thinner with the prince, Violet must untangle a wicked web of deceit to save herself and the kingdom or doom them all. And then says, a darkly enchanting fantasy debut about a morally gray witch, a cursed prince, and a prophecy that ignites their fate twisted destiny. Perfect for fans of the cruel prince and serpent and dove. Sounds amazing. I love this cover, so pretty. I'll pop up the original cover for the US and the UK editions on the screen here if you wanna check them out. And I'll link this book down below if you wanna purchase it. And then I wanna read you the author letter. I just really love what the author has to say and it feels like they're just like speaking to us. So this says, Dear Fairly Reader, Welcome to the start of Violet's story. I hope you like her and all her thorns. It's okay if you don't. She never expected anyone to like her. She grew up in a world as many do where the fairy tale is a veneer and she believes the only person worth relying on is herself. For all her disenchantment, however, I've always felt that the core of her story is hope. It might not come easily, but Violet never does things the easy way. The easy way is probably a scam. And besides, doesn't that make the happily ever after sweeter in the end? Let's find out. I think that's so cute. So that is a new fantasy release that I will be picking up this fall. I'm going to add this to my witchy TBR video that I'm making. I am putting together a list of fantasy, witchy, paranormal, supernatural books that I want to pick up in October because that's what I crave as a mood reader in the spooky season. So we'll be adding this. Okay, so there we have our little mini book haul. I need to get online on Amazon and buy some books for my sister. She is a totally different reader than me, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of browsing. <laughs> her too. She's turning 17 and while I read fantasy and fantasy romance and YA primarily, my younger sister reads like contemporary romance and like women's fiction <laughs> which is totally different than what I read and she does love reading romance like she loves the after series so she's just like kind of getting into reading in general and I want to make sure that I pick books that she's genuinely going to love and like fall in love with reading. So the first one I've chosen is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. And this is a good choice because she told me she wanted it. <laughs> so I'm going to get it for her. If you don't know, this is an adult romance that actually is Kylo Ray fanfic, I found out, which is really fun. So I'm excited for her to try this. And it's about a PhD student who falls in love with a young hotshot professor. So there's that. And then I thought that she would love to try a Colleen Hoover book. I don't know if she's read Colleen Hoover, but I'm assuming that she knows who she is like from book talk and she might have read, um, maybe she told me she read Verity. And if she did, 
I haven't read that book, but I know it's intense. But anyway, I decided to get her Heart Bones. And this is about a girl who comes from a very destitute background with a mother who had a drug addiction and she had no money and her mother has died and she has reached out to her biological father and asked to come stay with him because she has no place to go and she meets a boy there that comes from a very privileged background and the two of them end up falling in love i've heard from well i've read from reviews this has a 4.35 on goodreads which is it has a 4.3 on goodreads and 196,218 ratings on goodreads that's not including amazon so it has a great review and everyone's saying that there's a fantastic plot twist and that their own hearts broke so i think because my sister loves reading like sad books. My sister's like that girl and she reads like those books, you know what I mean? She's that girl. I think she'll like this because she like loves the sad book talk books. So that is what I have decided to do. I'm going to click purchase and send. I've never read a Colleen Hoover book, which is a little bit crazy, but at the same time it's not because I've been reading fantasy since I was like, you know, seven, six years old. So I should try it because I think I'll like one of her books at least. She's super popular. I know that she was very popular like back in the mid 2000s. So I don't know, I should give her a go. Maybe if my sister likes Heartbone, I'll give it a try. If you have a suggestion for Colleen Hoover books to read, please let me know. Um, I think if you're on my channel, we probably have similar reading tastes. So if there's a Colleen Hoover book that you think I would enjoy being a romance fantasy lover primarily, then please let me know because I will give it a try and maybe I'll do a reading vlog for you, reading outside of our comfort zone, you know? I really need to clean up my bookshelf, but I'm trying this thing out that I've seen another booktuber do, um, Mary, I'll link her channel below, and I really like it. I would never have put these series together, but like turning them on an angle, I think looks really aesthetically pleasing. And then like we get down here and uh, it's just a hot mess. And then I wanna show you, my husband came home the other day with this little glittery wooden bookmark that he got off of an artist online and I love it. It's really cute. So it's, she's just gonna stay there. In the last fairy loot box, it came with this little album which is not the cutest, but it has all of these slip cases. So I put like the art and the tarot cards in here. So I'm going to add, this is Disney art. I didn't get this from Fairy Loot. Um, I should show you these though. I got this all from Disney. Cinderella, Mulan, I love this. Hades and Meg. So I'm going to put this month's card in here. And then I'll add the tarot cards in. I also have some bookish goodies in this box from the Winner's Curse trilogy I have up there. This came in an Illumicrate exclusive box with that. So I actually should just organize these. I have some fairy scoops from different months that I should maybe, I don't know, I like keeping it all. Let's see, let's just dump this out here. Oh my gosh, I actually have more, I actually have more in here than I realized, okay. Oh, my husband's bookmark. I have another one of the mythology bookmarks. Okay, so I'll put those together. I have some more tarot cards. I actually have From Blood and Ash tarot cards that I believe I shoved in one of these books. Maybe I should not shove them in the book. I should put them in here for safekeeping, not in that one. I still need to finish The Crown of Gilded Bones. I'm still on page 96. Here they are. Yeah. So pretty. I love them. Okay. I have my Pride and Prejudice. I've had this since I was 15. I got this at the Bath Jane Austen Center, which if you've never been, it's a journey. You should go. This is a Game of Thrones bookmark. I have, oh, this is from the Star Daughter. And this is from, oh my gosh, I can't remember the title, but it's this book, which is beautiful. And I'm reading this this fall. This is a fairy loot book that came out two years ago. Oh yeah, Forest of Souls. So that goes with that, I believe. Yeah. And then what is this? 
I think this is fan art from Baron the Nightingale. I, I don't know, I might be wrong. You might have to let me know who this is. So let's organize. Oh, and then we have some Illumicrate like magnetic coins, which I think Illumicrate sends these out and they're collectible, but I've never received like an actual subscription box from them. So let's organize. <laughs> Actually, that's my favorite part. I did get rid of several months like spoiler cards and author interviews. I always read them, but I just never kept them for whatever reason, or they might be shoved actually in some of the Fairy Loot Special Edition books. That's probably where a lot of them are. I'm gonna have to <laughs> go through my books in a hot minute when I organize my bookshelf probably tomorrow with you. But anyway, I'm happy that I have this little album it keeps everything together this one's kind of cute i was just black's not my color pink's my color if this was pink it would be perfect good morning hello again it's monday now it's been a few days i had the weekend to just relax with my husband and i'm starting the weekend right it's very early in the morning hence the no makeup look but i have an almond milk caramel no almond milk vanilla iced soy latte why am i saying soy it's almond milk i'm so used to getting soy milk i have an almond milk vanilla ice latte it's too early for me anyway i created a mess yesterday we were binge watching the harry potter movies and i decided this would be the perfect opportunity to take a like witchy aesthetic magical bookish booksta photo for instagram and now like this is the remains of the setup and i have all of these books all of this is just like I took them out of so many different cubbies, so I need to just put it all away. I said I would do a library organization video. I think I'm gonna make a separate video because that'll take me all day and that could be like a really long kind of calming video for you. I like watching really calm videos of just like organizing and then seeing the end result while I'm like cleaning or doing the dishes or something. So I'm gonna make that for you, but just we need to tidy this up because I can't deal with it. Like I like, having these kind of like aesthetic cubbies for photos but in my everyday life it's a little bit overwhelming to my eye so uh, yeah i don't even know where we're gonna get started like i don't have a plan in mind of what i want to do because i didn't like how my library was looking anyway also someone's cleaning the concrete outside my flat so i'm so sorry if you can hear it he does it every day it is already four o'clock and I haven't touched the library yet and I still don't have a plan. However, my thought process is to bring forth some of the upcoming books that I want to read in the fall months, especially like my fantasy romance and also include my favorites. Now, I've done so many different ways of categorizing books in the past and recently I've been really into making sure that the books next to each other have like a vibe <laughs> and what I mean by that is like it can be all fantasy well all the books on my shelf are fantasy I have many of my historical fiction and like 
contemporaries on this side of the shelf behind my husband's books or underneath my couch here because this lifts up but like with a vibe i mean they're fantasy they all have like similar themes whether or not it's like paranormal or fantasy romance or it's like pirates and then also i want all of the colors to match so i have like groups of red and gold and then i have like on one shelf, I have only red and orange hardback books and then like only red and orange paperbacks. And I don't know, it just kind of depends because I have such like a mix of books and I also don't have like a huge collection. I didn't really start collecting books until the end of 2020. So my library is not as big as most booktubers, but every book that I have, I've either read and loved it or want to read or their special editions that i want to have in my collection i don't hang on to just any book if i don't like it or don't plan on reading it in the next year or so i will move it out of my collection but so that's a little bit of background on like where i think i'm going with this but i don't know we'll see at the end of the video what i end up with <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you i will rearrange books on my shelf every day i work from home and i just see it my eye just goes straight to it every single day so i will play around with different books which is why every video you see different books behind me <laughs> because i get bored and i want to just like move stuff around and bring new books into my collection and then it like throws the whole thing off so i have to redo it but anyway let's get going because tonight I'm watching the new Game of Thrones show that just came out. It was just released today and I'm very excited for this. So we need to take a bookstagram photo actually of the Game of Thrones book. So I need to remember to do that in a hot minute, but let's organize first. So we are not going to touch this side because this is just like a completely different genre. I don't go to this side very often. So anything that's down here and then all the way up there are my fantasy books, minus the books in my couch. And then also I do have the Harry Potter first editions over here and like some illustrated special Mina Lima editions. But that is basically my collection. So we're gonna get started and I'm a little bit nervous about how long it's going to take but let's just go you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find because you got me i don't want to break your little bubble but you gotta wake up to reality because i can see
right. I am stuck right now. I have this cubby, which is like, has it has books in the back, but it's empty in the front. I'm not in love with what I've done, but it does look tidy. Like this cubby down here is just kind of random. I had a stack of black and gold books before that had like smaller books on top and larger books on the bottom. And I really liked that, but I don't know how to do that in this setup. I do have a pile of books over there that need to go back on the shelf, but I'm filming a video tomorrow. So I don't want to put them on the shelf now. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And then these are random. Like I hate randomly sized books like this one. And then like, they're just, these are four random. <laughs> randomly sized books and I like things to be even as much as possible unless like it's purposely done in a cool way to have different sized books. I just, I'm stuck right now. Right, let me try maybe moving my Kingdom of the Wicked books down because Kingdom of the Feared is coming out in a few weeks so like I'm gonna need to make room for that. Plus, they're kind of dark. I have the Barnes & Noble and the Waterstones exclusive, so maybe that can go there. They're kind of dark and they match the Dark Shades of Magic. And then maybe I have the UK Carvel series here. My US editions are back in America, but maybe I can turn those on an angle. And then I have a signed Stephanie Garber addressed to me copy of Legendary in Spanish. So maybe I'll put that in the front there, just to like give it a little bit of attention. Is that okay? It's okay. It's okay for right now. Oh, I still have these random books. Where am I going to put these? I'm still not happy with the way this shelf is looking. I have some dark kind of in color books. I really want to showcase this Victoria Aveyard adult series Realm Breaker. I'm going to be doing a buddy read on Instagram with a bunch of people in September. So if you want to join, we're going to be reading Blade Breaker. Just message me on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I'll get you involved. I, uh, I have two copies of the Atlas Six. She and I have a tumultuous relationship. I will review it at some point on my channel. And then I have not read Book of Night. I've not heard good things about it, but it has like dark, you know, elements that are very spooky season-esque. So I kind of want to have it on display for Halloween along with this book by Tara Sim, City of Dust. Both are fairly adult editions. And then I picked these up at Barnes & Noble a year ago. I have like books 13 and 16 or something by Gina Showalter. This is her fantasy dark romance adult series. I didn't realize that I picked up that far into the series, but like sexy covers, am I right? Like I enjoy, but I need to read the series, but I just, I don't know what to do with this. And then I just shoved the random books in the back. So let's maybe do this kind of like catty corner thing that I've done before. Or maybe do kind of like group them together. Do I want to display the Atlas 6 though? Because I'm not enjoying it. So maybe she doesn't get a spot. Maybe something like that. Um, except I'll switch these because I love Realm Breaker. Plus it has the swords and kind of like goes into the Game of Thrones a little bit. Is that okay? Maybe I'll put these in the back. Yeah. Just showing you what's in the very front. I have my special editions of Spin the Dawn. These are from Fairy Lou, and then the Lumicrate editions of A Winner's Curse. And then in the back, I have just like some cute little UK paperbacks. And then I have all my editions of Once Upon a Broken Heart. I have the UK and Spanish copy of Caraval. And then I have the U.S. editions and this Waterstones exclusive of Ember in the Ashes, my little Victoria Schwab shelf, and then Carrie Maniscalco. Down below, I just have some hardbacks I want to read or a couple of favorites, and also same on the other side except shorter. Moving along, I have Crescent City. I'm hoping to get the Fairy Loot editions, and then below that odd angle but a court of thorns and roses these are my new additions i do have the original covers back in america throne of glass game of thrones um from bottle ash glow i'm hoping to get the rest of the series and hardback that matches just random books in the back and then i have like paperbacks and that are fantasy fantasy romance behind and then of course that dreaded shelf down below 
Lord of the Rings, and then I have my mythology. I kind of feel like since Glow is a King Midas retelling and it's gold, it kind of like fits to go <laughs> next to the mythology. It like kind of blends together. And then of course over here I have classics, my husband's biographies and sports books. I do have a whole set of the Tudor Queen series and some historical fiction. But yes, there she is. I did get this vase, if you're wondering, from H&M Home. I think she is the birth of Venus. So that is what I think it's supposed to be. And then I got this little bulldog from Royal Doughton. It's China. Um, and this is from the James Bond series for my husband. And then this cute little girl down here. I just have her holding my bookmarks right now, but she's from H&M Home as well. Oh no, she's from ASOS. Christian got me that. So yeah, there we go. Okay, here is an overview of the bookshelf now that I am kind of done. I'm gonna leave her as she is for today and then I'm sure I'll keep playing around with it, but yeah, I hate the cables in the back, but there's nothing we can do about that. So it's all right, it looks okay. It's okay. I spend way too much time like critiquing my bookshelf <laughs> when I could be doing other things, but I think she's cute, she's pretty. We got some fun things up at the top there. I need to fill that with some new flowers and I will do a full library tour probably towards the end of the year. I have a birthday coming up next month in September. So I'm hoping to get some new books and then I will be able to add them to my bookshelf. But she's cute, I'm happy with her. Great, okay, now I need to take a bookstagram photo or reel. I don't really love making reels to be honest with you and I don't particularly enjoy watching them over and over again on Instagram. Tell me how you feel about reels on bookstagram because I personally love looking at aesthetic photos. Like I love seeing flat lays, I love seeing color coded shelves, I love seeing just like books put on display with reviews and the caption but reels you know like you need to make them to have anyone see your content so i'm trying to have a good balance of both i make the reels to push out so that people can find me and then we can chat about books in the dms because that's my favorite part of instagram is getting to know you and talking with you in dms like having actual friends through bookstagram is awesome but I love personally creating still photos. So I'm trying to have a good balance of both, but I need to do one for Game of Thrones because like I said, the TV show comes out today and these are the special editions, one of many special editions. And there's some beautiful full photo artwork in all of these. So I would like to show that. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, I'd like to showcase some of it. I mean, look how pretty that is. And I feel like I can't really display this as well in a reel. Like I should make photos of it, but let's try and I will put up my final result for you to see. Okay, so here's my little flat lay setup and I think I'm gonna add some of this dry lavender. And then I just really love, 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 love this artwork. So I think I'm gonna take a couple different photos. These books were all given to me actually by my husband and these are just picked up from charity shops, so used bookstores here in the UK, and he managed to get all of them for me. When we had just gotten married, we didn't have a lot of money and I really treasure these for that reason. Like, he really went out and tried to find me all of these books and I've yet to read them. I'm going to do a reading blog of them soon, hopefully this winter. confused. I just posted a TikTok of me scrolling through the new shelves I just did. Just a little shelfie that's eight seconds long and someone commented who has no profile username that's like unique and no photo. Barack Obama and SJM question mark question mark question mark what a combo. Like I think they were trying to insult me but how can I be insulted? It's Barack Obama and Sarah J Maas. I'm just gonna eat my gelato, mind my own business, and keep reading Barack Obama and Sarah J Maas. Haters gonna hate.
On that note, I think it's probably a great time to wrap up the night and this video. Thank you so much for hanging out and just doing the things with me. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much as always. You are a queen, but today, instead of the crown emoji, let's drop a book emoji in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. So I know that you watched the whole thing and I can thank you in the DMs and the messages. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this, if you like just hanging out and doing all the bookish stuff with me, let me know and I'll definitely do another one. It was really fun to make and super chill and casual and we don't wear makeup and we don't let TikTok haters hate on our shelves. So <laughs> that's just what we're doing. That's what we're doing here. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a fantastic day and that you find a beautiful book to finish off your day and your week with. Bye.